Former state Senator Mona Doss left public office last year. These days, she's helping women of color get elected to office. Her efforts are highlighted in a film that will be featured at the Cannes Film Festival. Welcome to New Day. Thank you and so much. And congratulations. Thank wow. you for having me. You emigrated to the U.S. from India when you were just a baby. Tell us your path to public office. Well, it's a very long and journeyed <laughs> path, you know, path to get to office. My family is very classically Indian. Half are doctors, the other half are engineers. So when I decided to run for public office, it was way out of the realm <laughs> of any comfort zone for my family. And it just was this crazy dream that I had had, actually. And I was had just moved to the area, and I was walking my dog, who actually has more energy than me, and I saw a sign. Literally, I saw a sign, and it said, Pramila Jayapal for State Senate. Wow. And my dog is pulling and barking and wants to go, and I am standing in front of that sign, and I am crying I for like chills. five <laughs> minutes. Because for me, I saw two things in that sign. A, she was a woman, and B, she was an Indian. Yeah. And she was running for the office that I had dreamed of yeah. in the Senate. And I knew that if she could do it, I could do it. And that gave me the hope. You get, just gave us a beautiful illustration of why representation matters and that it, and it works, mm -hmm. right? So you see yes. that, that person standing at that sign, staring at it, and mm -hmm. then making this a reality. You're not completely out of politics, and you're actually helping women of color get elected. Why is this so important to you? It's so important because, as you had just said, representation truly matters. And I ran on the principle that if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. And people that look like me, women, BIPOC folks, we've been on the menu for far too long. And being in those rooms and being in that situation, I realized how desperately we needed more BIPOC and BIPOC women to be elected. Representation truly matters, and, we, and until we're all at the table, the table is not full. I, I love that. And I, you also said, I refuse to be the last, which I like that That's too. Right. You refuse to be the last one. Um, what are the biggest barriers, would you say, facing women of color getting into politics? There's a couple. Um, the first is fundraising. Most women, um, a lot of BIPOC folks, have been sort of trained by their family not to ask for money, not to be seen right. as needy or desperate. And so I think that the barrier to fundraising is a really huge challenge. And for me, as with my sales and business development background, it's something that I took to very naturally. I don't mind asking people right. for money. And so what I've done since then is I've created uh, my online fundraising course as well to help many, many more people uh, learn how to fundraise. It's, it's really about changing yeah. mindset. It's not about you, it's about we, and it's about what you can do for your community. So when you approach someone or you're working with a woman about possibly getting into politics, you're also saying, I'm gonna be with you. I'm not just gonna tell you to go raise some money. I'm gonna show you how, I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna back you up. Yes. That's the important part yes. there. And if someone does call me and ask me for money, I always say yes, even if it's just a little bit, because it's that little confidence that they need. And so the other thing is that women, um, a lot of BIPOC folks don't have those giant networks of donors of, of great wealth. And so that is something that else that I train is like how to um, find those networks and, and people that are going to be there for you to support your run for office. You inspire me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, your work in this area is the subject of a new documentary. Mm -hmm. um, tell me how that came about. Well, it's a, a vision that I had for 10 years, um, you know, just highlighting women passionate about what they're doing. And this particular film is about BIPOC women running for office around the country and the different challenges and struggles that we face, but also our triumphs and our successes. And I say, it, I think there's eight women. That's right. And um, they're all running for office. Um, and I'll, I'll, like you said, I'll, uh, Wisconsin, Kentucky, here in our state, couple from our state, one yeah. Eastern Washington. Um, there was a quote in that documentary um, that I love, if I can share with you, sure. um, it's your, your words. I'm not just reaching a hand down to lift up the next generation. I'm sending a large elevator down, filling it up, and sending it up. That's right. Tell me what, tell me about that. I, I know how it affects me, but. Yeah, thank you. I mean, for me, I, I really try to show representation, and you know, my staff was all uh, BIPOC women, and I just try to show that it's possible. 
and that it's it's something that others should strive to do as well. We've got to give different opportunities to different folks, folks that have generally been shut out of those rooms. And for me, it's about not just raising a hand down, but really bringing a whole elevator. Yeah. If we want change, we have to change the people that we elect. Wow, that whole elevator. I just love it, the, the big right there at the top. Um, tell me your plans now. So the film, Got into Cannes, as you mentioned, which is very exciting. Oh, so exciting. So our plans are to do other versions, you know, c continue to go down the politics realm, but, you know, we can do scientists, we can talk about uh, community change makers, formerly incarcerated folks, black and brown women yeah. are doing amazing things around the globe, and we can't wait to find them and tell their stories. And that elevator, filling it up. Thank you so much. So inspiring.